suggest that to me and to probably just about every dancer of color, Raven Wilkinson became a gate opener um, with her contribution to the dance world, being the first black dancer to be uh, introduced or accepted into a major classical ballet company, she then opened the doors to other dancers of color, um, just basically to show the world that it's possible and allowable. Just personally, growing up in the American Virgin Islands, um, where I'm from, African American persons are the majority. And so moving to the mainland, dance had, had already become something that was a major part of my life. Moving to the mainland and suddenly becoming amongst those who are the minority, I understood that not only was dance something that maybe was not the norm for a person of color or for an African American dancer, but was almost not truly expected of an African dancer, especially Raven Wilkinson was born on February 2, 1935 in Manhattan, New York, at the time of the Great Depression, and lived in a family of four with her mom, father, and brother. Wilkinson's father worked as a dentist and cared for those who couldn't afford it, while her mother's position was a stay-at-home mom who supported charities. Raven's mother took her to see Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo. That is when Raven got interested into ballet. Raven's uncle tried to get her into lessons, which sadly she was too young for. Raven tried to get in at five years old, but at the time, the lessons only allowed minimum age dancers of nine. When Wilkinson turned nine, she started taking lessons and decided to audition for Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo at the age of 19. She was not accepted until her third audition. Wilkinson was accepted, but on a six-week trial basis, and promoted to soloist her second season. For performances, they recommended she paint her skin white, but she refused and said that black was who she was and there was no changing that. Another suggestion was for her to lie and say that she was Spanish, but she still denied it. Started traveling with the company, the racism began. Strong KKK crowds would form around her tour bus when in the South. Since Wilkinson was a part of a white dance company, the dancers would settle in white-only hotels. And even though she loved who she was, when asked directly if she was black, she would deny it. Raven explained later that this was only to protect the company. One performance in Alabama, two KKK members ran up to the stage yelling for Wilkinson. Throughout her career, her color was very problematic to her success. Everywhere she went, many whites would have things to say. After seven years with Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo, Wilkinson moved on to other dance companies like Dutch National Ballet and New York City Opera. After Wilkinson finally settled down and permanently retired, she was recognized by Misty Copeland, the first black dance theater director, and is said to have made a great impact on her. Copeland presented Wilkinson with the Dance USA 2015 award and was written about in Copeland's children's book, The Firebird. After many years of Wilkinson making history, she sadly passed away on December 17, 2018, at the age of 83.